and welcome. Today I'll be making some mahjong tiles and I'm going to use some oil-based markers that I made and I will link a video to how to make those um, in the description below. But what I am doing is I am using that oil-based marker to paint each of the areas of the mold for the design of the mahjong tile. And I'm using white, gold, red, and green. This took about two days to actually paint each of these tiles. So I am going to fast forward so you don't have to watch that very lengthy process. But this is to give you an idea of how you actually do the technique. Um, and I just alternated and randomized the colors to what I felt at the time. And once all of the tiles had been uh, painted, at that point I mixed up 14 ounces of resin and I wound up having to actually mix up about another eight. So this, these for half fill of the tiles, which is what I'm gonna be doing, it takes about 22 ounces of resin. And I added some black mica pigment, but I also added some marblers um, black ink just to give it a deeper black. Once that was mixed, I then poured that in, again, just halfway um, on the mold, and I tried to keep them as even as possible. So once I finished pouring the half of the mold with the black, I did allow that to cure per the manufacturer's instructions. My thought process here and my intent was I wanted it half black, half white. So then I came in with this powder base. I can't pronounce the name of this company, but it's a company out of Australia. Um, and there were no instructions on the bag for this. I guessed it, what the ratio was. And I mixed that very similar to the way you would mix plaster. And then I filled in the rest of the mold with that because it's a very um, true white. And unfortunately, I used the entire bag um, and was not able to completely finish all of the tiles. So then I had to switch over to plaster for the last 10 or so. But I did allow that to set. And I actually let these sit for about two days because I had not worked with that product before. And I had also used plaster on some. And then I was able to finally demold. There was a little bit of cleanup um, around the edges that I did just with a fingernail file, but all in all, they turned out wonderfully. If any of them separate, if you are doing this, just use some super glue in between the tiles. I had, I think, two that separated. The rest of them did adhere fine, but it is a possibility of something that could happen. And here is a look at the final Mahjong tiles that I made. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and press the bell to be alerted to future videos.